This is how we always build bots. Big workflows and a lot of nodes. We sprinkle in some AI here and there, but ultimately lead the user down a path that we have designed. But what if we let AI make every single decision? A fully generative AI conversational chatbot. And this is the website that it's going to be based on. A super high level exotic car dealership. Will it explode in its own face? Or has it advanced enough to make the right decisions in key moments? I tried to build one, so let's find out. And welcome to the next day. Check out what I built here. The first thing you know, is that it's small, but it's everything we need. All right, so let's start off. Hi, how can I assist you today? Are you looking for a specific exotic car or do you have any questions? Now, the focus of this bot is conversation, which means we want it to feel as human as possible when we talk to it. So I'm just going to speak to it like a normal person. Am I looking for a specific exotic car? Yes, I am. I really like Porsche. It says that's great. Porsche is an excellent choice. We have a wide range of Porsche models available. Is there a specific model you are interested in? I see this bot's really trying to get a sale, so let's slow it down. So no, let's chat a bit first. For sure, let's chat about it first. What specific information are you looking for about Porsche? So I'm just going to pretend I don't know anything. I don't know much. What do you think of Porsche? Porsche is a renowned brand known for its performance and luxury. If you have any specific questions or need information about a particular model, feel free to ask. All right, if you insist. What is the 0 to 100 of a 2014 911 Turbo? The 2014 Porsche 911 Turbo has 0 to 100, 3.2 seconds. Yes, it does. Do you think the Porsche 911 is a good buy? It says that, yeah, it's a good buy depending on who you are, but it is a great car. And it also says I should do some research and check my budget before I make a purchase. But I don't know anything, so I'm just going to tell it. I have about $300,000 and I'm looking to buy second hand. What should I get? It says that based on my budget, it recommends a Porsche 911 Turbo S. And I might be able to find a very well-maintained used model within my budget. It also gives some useful suggestions for buying second hand, like checking the mileage, maintenance history, and just an overall condition. So it's done a fantastic job so far of speaking to me and interesting me in the car. But now this is where usually an AI driven chatbot gets left behind. When a user gives them their contact info, they can't save it, at least not consistently. But with BotPress's new schema feature, now we can. So let's tell the bot I'm interested. Can you send me an email with some available Porsche 911s? It says, sure, I can send you an email with some available Porsche 911s. Please provide me with your email address. So then I'll give it my email address. And they go, it says, thank you for reaching out. I will send you an email at that with the information you requested. Is there anything else that I can help you with? And if we now check here in our schema, we'll see that under email, it says my email address. And here we have other fields as well. We have my name, we have my age, we have like uh, my street, my city, my zip. Lead generation with chatbots now are so much more effective because of schemas. Because the bot doesn't miss any information, anything like that. It picks up on it like we can't manually do with code. And then right here, we have insert record card so that we insert that data into to our leads table right here. And then at the end of the day, we can have a bot that sends all those leads to a Google sheet. And then we have literally in a spreadsheet, all the people that are actually interested in buying something from our bot. But this is not just a salesman bot with no background or knowledge. Here we are on Prestige Marquis website. We say they got a bunch of nice cars here. So let's ask the bot question about these cars. I really like the AMG GTR personally. So let's ask him some questions about it. And here it says the price is 2 million 449900 and it is exactly that. And now we also have an AI task that generates questions based on the response, kind of like ChatGPT. So now some possible questions that we could ask is what are the features and is there a financing option available for the AMG GTR? And this is actually a question I would like to ask, what are the features? So now we'll click on it and it asks that question to the bot. And here are the features, there's quite a few of them. We have 19 inch rims, performance bucket seats and whatever. And if we go into the website, we see, uh, yeah, it definitely has all that. Here we see the AMG performance bucket seats, 19 inch rims and the metallic red exterior. Not only does it work, it gives you the best of both worlds. Plus this cool potential question system. It really excites me because for so long, this has not been possible. But with the improvement of AI and schemas, this can actually be done. Now, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to ask it to send me a link to the web page of the car. I don't believe it. If I copy this link and I put it in a new tab, I can't believe it works. Now you might say, oh, it's not a clickable link, but the bot did try make it a clickable link. This is how we do it in HTML. You put the text you want the hyperlink to be in square brackets, and then you put the link itself in round brackets. It's just bot press's fault. That would be a clickable link if we were in a web link. This is fascinating. Now I'm not doing some fake YouTuber reaction. It's just that AI sucks in a lot of places and this used to be one of them. So the fact that we can now do this with AI chatbots is for a lack of better words, kind of groundbreaking. 
As I told you, my first video on this channel was an exotic car dealership bot. And when I tried to do this, it absolutely flopped. So the fact that I didn't even need to code anything, it just knows what that URL is, is genuinely cool to see. In literally 10 months, we have made so much progress in AI. I hope you enjoyed this mind-blowing video and I'll see you in the next one.